The U.S. Postal Service will hold a public meeting tonight to discuss its proposal to move the Harrison Avenue Distribution Center to Madison, Wisconsin. Joining us live at 5 is Congressman Don Manzullo to give us a preview of what to expect. Good evening, Congressman. Hi, Mimi. How are you this evening? Good, thank you. Why are Good. you and other lawmakers urging people to attend tonight's meeting? Well, maybe it's extremely important to let people know that the distribution center in Rockford is, I think, the United States' most efficient center. Uh, guaranteed overnight delivery for eight counties, uh, a great staff, and we're very much concerned uh, that the study and the methodology and the, uh, the, the metrics that are being used by the Postal Service are wrong, just as they were wrong six years ago when they tried to close the same facility. So by people showing up, uh, that means that they're supporting Rockford, supporting our distribution center. We know the USPS has to cut back dramatically to keep from going bankrupt. We're just saying use the best science and then we'll be convinced that this center will stay open. You mentioned that six years ago that facility was targeted again. Do you think you'll be able to turn around the U.S. Postal Service again? Well, we're going to try. Uh, when, when you take Rockford, which has been a model throughout the country, and close the model, uh, and the, the people in the area here are going to have first-class mail going from overnight to taking three to five days. That's not acceptable. But by, by showing up, giving the support, uh, saying we understand it's important to keep this facility open, let the USPS know uh, that, that this postal center here makes us very proud. We're going to do everything we can fight to keep it open. Do you know about how many jobs will be lost if they do close that center? It'll be about, uh, I think, 180 jobs. Right now, of course, getting people to work is a priority. Well, it is, and maybe, but it, it, it impacts not only the 188 people, but we've been talking to all kinds of business people in the area uh, who rely upon overnight mail to get their bills out, uh, to get the checks in on time. A lot of people will send their checks in the mail to pay bills on the, the last day or the next to last day of the month, and then they arrive there on the first. Uh, that's not going to happen anymore. It, it's, just, it's just absolutely unbelievable that the post office uh, cannot take uh, the experience we had uh, six years ago. In fact, the metrics that they are using are so bad that Senator Durbin and Senator Kirk uh, actually passed a resolution in the Senate ordering uh, the post office not to close any facilities until May. All right, Congressman Don Manzuel, thanks so much for joining us live thanks, at Thanks, Mamie. Appreciate it. You bet. And again, that meeting tonight will be held at 7 p.m. at the Clock Tower Resort. It is open to the public. So